hand-sized formation of uh, very, very interesting material. Now, first of all, if you look at the matrix, you'll get this, this odd green and this bluishness. Now, when we go across the top, we'd have a thin layer of chrysocolla sitting uh, across these guys, which the chrysocolla actually appears more white than it does blue. Sitting on top of that would be tiny bladed crystals. Now, some may say uh, we're looking at primary malachite. Some may say I've, I've been going with the ziggurate all along. That's my closest uh, visual ID on this. Uh, uh, could be paramelaconite, could be uh, uh, gerhardite, for instance. Uh, this is relatively new material. It's now June 2022. Uh, so I think in time we'll know exactly what this is. But in the meantime, uh, let's go with malachite and a question mark. So I'm talking about these little bladed crystals on top. Actually, you'll find in the still pictures, I actually uh, uh, handled my exposure to, make, to, to give clarity to these little crystals. So you can actually see the crystal form. Um, the rest of the material would be uh, chrysocolla and then of course druzy quartz sitting blanketing most sections of the chrysocolla. Other associations I found are little waxy black botoids of heterogenite which I don't quite see here. Then when we look on the other side of the specimen, not at all unappealing either. A lovely section here, little cavities, little vugs with the green crystals. Uh, sitting on the outside, almost a botryoidal undertone. There's a bit of the blue in the matrix, which I'm still trying to figure out. We talk of things like uh, uh, Batkenbachite as well, which is quite possibly, I think these are actually full of fruity, fruity wonders, all the way from the uh, Tenke Fungurumu mine in the Katanga.